Hello, it's Payam here from Niche. In this video, I'm going to talk about right to buy remortgages. Now, I've done several videos on right to buys, purchasing your council home, how you do it without putting any money down, some of the circumstances, some of the difficulty of purchasing right to buy flats or houses. And we've talked about frequently asked questions and what you do in terms of once you purchase the property, you know, your right to buy mortgages for people that are employed, self-employed, credit issues, buying with family members, buying special types of properties. So that's all covered in lots of videos and I'll leave the links below in my description. But this video is specifically around people that have purchased their right to buy properties um, and now are looking to remortgage. Now, there are a number of reasons and there are a number of routes people go down. Now, majority of the people that would have purchased a right to buy would have done so maybe on a five year fixed. This is, will go in tandem with the actual local authority grants or the right to buy scheme itself. Because when you do a right to buy, when you purchase a council home, the council themselves will, are going to give you this discount. By doing so, they're also going to put a charge on your property for the next five years. If you end up selling that property, you have to give a percentage of that discount back to the council. Okay, so there is a charge on that and that charge makes things a little bit difficult when you're coming up for remortgaging. Um, so I'll, let's talk about that. So let's assume you took a two year fix and there are reasons why people would have taken a two year fix on a right to buy um, rather than a five year fixed or a three year fix, for example. And that could have been uh, when you went in for a mortgage. You, your credit profile may not, not, may not have been the right uh, credit profile, so you might have had some issues in the past, okay? Your income, you may have you know, been self-employed and needed to go for a one-year account. So your circumstances may have uh, you know, said that you should go for a two-year, and now you're, let's assume you were self-employed, you had one year's accounts before, now you've got three years' accounts, you can now go to the high street or you had some defaults or credit issues on your file that's now been more historical you are now a high street type of client and you can go to the high street so there are different types of people so if you're on a two-year fix and you want to swap rates to get a better rate or a better product then obviously you can go for a remortgage um, now the reason for remortgage is important because not there's really as far as I'm concerned there's only two reasons you can remortgage for reason number one is to get a better rate a better product reason number two is for home improvement purposes because of that local authority second charge sort of um, that's been put on your um, property when you took out the right to buy there are stipulations within that that the lenders will not allow you to remortgage for different purposes for example within your first five years you can't remortgage for debt consolidation. So you can't pay off your credit cards or any loans because essentially the lender will the, the lenders will say, no, you've got this money from the grant. And what happens if you spend that money and then you'll be left with nothing? So essentially the rules are for the first five years you can't debt consolidate unless you're debt consolidating. Uh, sorry, you can't debt consolidate unless you remortgage some lenders will allow you to do it for home improvements on that property not on another property not i'm going to improve my mom and dad's property on that property so that's like i want you know can i mr lender can i have more money because i want to build an extension new kitchen new bathroom so forth and then you have to go for a what's called if you're tied into your mortgage so say you did a five-year fixed and three years in it you want to now build an extension you generally have to approach your existing lender and tell them that you would like a further advance. What that is, is a second mortgage essentially on top of your mortgage. Because you're tied in, you don't want to remortgage because you potentially have got early repayment charges to pay. So you don't want to go down that route. You don't want to pay any penalties. So you approach your existing lender and see whether they will give you a further advance. Generally, when you go in for the high street guys, they generally will give you further advance. Some of the more specialist lenders will not give you a further advance. And some lenders in general, because it's a right to buy, may not give you any additional borrowing anyway, even if it's for home improvements. So it's always worth double checking that before you go and, you know, pay the builder. You double check whether that's allowed. So capital raising for home improvements is generally the one. Anything else is generally not allowed for a remortgage. Obviously, remortgaging to get a better rate, better incentive, so forth, that's more, um, that's allowed. Now, 
what are the problems when you come to remortgages of right to buys? Well, right to buys a little bit different because they're not traditional standard homes. Now, a lot more simpler if it's a right to buy house, standard construction type, more difficult when it's a right to buy flat. Now, those could be right to buy flats that have got deck access. That's the balcony access you have, the big balconies and the doors are on the right hand side or left hand side, more difficult. There are exposure rules, so a lot of the lenders do not like um, blocks of flats that are owned predominantly by the council, so not many people have bought within that. You may have experienced this when you've originally went for your uh, rights to buy. Um, so exposure limits is a key one. Um, number of stories is a big one. A lot of lenders do not do them above five stories, okay? Then you've got affordability, obviously, as you have for all mortgage, mortgages. Um, you've got affordability rules. Then you've got uh, in regards to income, affordability and credit criteria. Okay. And then you've got the term of the mortgage. For example, you might have purchased it with your parents. Uh, this lender will not accept, you know, they've got a maximum age, for example, or there might have been four of you that the, the right to buy it together. The lenders may not recognize four people, they might only have two per applicant. So there are lots of reasons why Generally, people approach mortgage brokers to be able to deal with such specialist things. But you could, of course, try to do this yourself. Like I said, I've put lots of information here on my channel on Right to Buy. Just type in Right to Buy and you'll see lots and lots of um, content about Right to Buy mortgages. But specifically, everybody's talking about Right to Buy mortgages as if you're going to do the purchase. This is really around the remortgage. I tell you what else I get a lot of questions on. I bought my property a few years ago. I now want to rent the property out and I want to buy a new property. Okay. Now, this is really important. Um, two things you have to do on this. First of all, you have to double check that the local authority will allow it. In my experience so far, I haven't seen a local authority that doesn't allow it. They're generally okay with it. They just want their money. All right. However, get that double checked. The second thing is you've got to let your existing, if you're tied in, so uh, this is important actually. If you're within your five year period, remember we spoke about, no buy to let lender is going to give you a buy to let mortgage. None of them. Not one of those lenders will give you a buy to let mortgage. So you're stuck. Okay. If you have done a five year fixed or a two year fixed, okay, so let's assume you did a two year fixed. So two year fixed, your two years is up, you now want to remortgage. You can only really remortgage as a residential, you can't remortgage as a buy to let, no one's going to give you a buy to let mortgage. If you've already moved out of that property, you're likely to go on a standard available rate of that lender because they won't give you a buy to let mortgage because it's a right to buy. If you're on a five year fixed though, and say two and a half years within your five year fix, you then change your mind and you want to rent the property out and buy another property, you can approach your existing lender and ask for something called the consent to let or a permission to let letter. What that's essentially telling the lender is, Mr. Lender, I want to rent this property out, my circumstances have changed, and I want to buy another property. Depending on who the lender is, uh, and there are some that are very good with it, and there are some that don't give it, okay? Um, they will say, right, no problem. Here's a letter, we'll allow you to rent the property. That's all it does. All it is, is a letter that says, we'll allow you to rent the property. Now, some lenders may change your rate a little bit. Some lenders may have an administration charge to do that. Um, others may not give you that letter. But one thing is for sure, none of them will allow you to capital raise. Remember, we go back to the first, my first point. They will not allow you to pull out more money out of the property, for example, to use for a deposit on your onward purchase. So bear that in mind, okay? If so, what I would say a piece of information here is if you are thinking you don't know, maybe in three years time or four years time, you may want to rent that property out. It may be beneficial for you to stick it on a five year fix on a residential, because if you did it on a two years, you come out of your residential rate, you can't get another buy to let mortgage. And it means you might be on a standard verbal rate of that lender. Okay, so I hope it's a little bit complicated, but I hope you've got the gist of that, okay, uh, in terms of renting it out. So you may be able to rent the property out, however, you won't be able to capital raise until your five year period is up. Once your five year period is up, then you are 100% owner of that property. There are no charges. The local authority have removed their charge, and you are essentially, you could do what you want in terms of refinancing, debt consolidation, and so forth, okay. Obviously, careful consideration needs to be given at putting unsecured debt into a secured environment. You know, remortgaging to pay off your credit cards and debts is not a great idea generally because it may seem 
great because you're getting a lower rate but then you're chucking this debt uh, over a very very long period so uh, careful consideration and suitable advice needs to be sought after if you're talking about you know later on in life debt consolidating stuff into your mortgage on so also something really important if you lose you know if you don't pay your credit card bill you might get a default but they won't come and repossess you on your house um, if you stop paying your mortgage they'll come and repossess your house or potentially come and look to repossess your property um, that's about it guys I mean check out niche advice uh, on our, um, our website um, it, we do talk a lot about uh, you know different types of remortgages but this channel it's been set up for information purposes only I hope you found it useful um, please leave a comment or any questions you've got I will try to answer them and I'll catch you on the next one take care all the best The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.